Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to the channel this almost Halloween. Okay, I know we're a bit early, I know we're a bit early, but here we are. Today is filming day. I have a new setup. Don't worry, it's not my main setup. It's like my side gig, if you know what I mean. I can change the lights. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. And today I want to talk about my top 10 sort of otherworldly plants, kind of like a Halloween plants thing. Only I think previously I've done a video on like really nasty stuff, like weird funguses and things like that. I know I've done a goth plants one as well, but this year I want to do something a little bit otherworldly. So a little bit alien, a little bit unknown. Jumping straight in, we're not going to waste any time. First thing I want to talk about on this list, and this list is not in any order by the way, this is just a collection of plants. Literally you can rank them how you want. Feel free to rank them in the description if you like. But the first one I want to talk about, I actually saw last week in Kew Gardens. I was quite surprised to see it there. I don't know why. It's just not something I expected. I expected something a bit more normal. But then again, it is Kew Gardens, so maybe I should have expected it. First plant I want to talk to you about is the Colocasia Pharaoh's Mask. This one is not an easy one to grow. Not that it is a video, by the way, about how to grow things, how easy they are, blah, 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 blah. Nothing like that. It's literally probably an appearance-based kind of chat that we're going to have. But it's, it's weird and it's definitely otherworldly or what you could say alien-like for sure. The whole plant as it matures, it's not so much like that when it's juvenile, but it definitely builds quickly. The whole plant kind of peels around and it sort of, it becomes really convex and all the veins of the plant sort of pull back and it is why they call it Pharaoh's Mask. But it looks kind of like an alien insect kind of shield. It is really freaky and it's not for everyone. And I think a few of these plants, if not all of the plants on this list, nearly, you could say are not for everyone, right? These aren't necessarily, looking at these, they're not necessarily sexy, visually, ooh. That's not the kind of vibe that we're going here, guys. Do you see these lights? This is not this is not the vibe we're going for. It is a bit different. I've had them. They don't grow very well for me personally. I actually find them very difficult. Let me know if you do, if you've had one, but they're definitely worth it if you can grow them because I do have a lovely picture from Q and I will put it in of what I found them looking like and you will see what I mean. They are something to behold. I don't know many plants that are really like this. So if you're looking for something completely different, either for Halloween or maybe you've just got that kind of collection, that kind of vibe, then this is absolutely one for you. Moving on to an absolute classic and I mean, it is a classic. I don't think anyone has ever done, and I'm going to bet on this, no one has ever done like an alien style plant video without this plant in it. I'm not sure you can do it, you know. I actually, I think it'd be offensive to not. And that is the Alocasia cupria or cupria red secret. Now, the redness kind of varies. I don't really know the reasons for it because I haven't had them enough and I'm going to be honest, I don't care enough. Not that I don't like the plants, but I've spoke about this plant recently and what I said was basically, you need to have a collection with this kind of vibe. This is a video where it fits in and it fits in with the vibe great but in a lot of collections I feel like you don't see it because it doesn't really fit with what everyone kind of wants from their plants we've definitely gone down either the variegated bright you know beautiful big plush root or we've gone down the the dark and the contrasty veiny and the velvety and the long kind of root I feel like those are like two of the main avenues that people go down this it's not really either is it and it's definitely weird and I know again I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face it's gonna be like drink every time I say it take a shot every time I say it this plant is an acquired taste. Now it is very affordable. I'm not so sure about the previous one, the Pharaoh's Mask, but this is very affordable and you should find it as most garden centers. It's not the worst allocation to take care of actually. I have had one a long time ago. You may remember it, you may not. I have had one. Don't think I've got a single photograph of it, but it was okay to take care of actually. And I think it grew quite well in not a great situation, come to think of it. If you like that and maybe you want to get a gift for someone for Halloween and you're on a bit of a budget, that's actually a really good one to go for because for someone that isn't that into plants, they probably haven't seen that before and it probably will take them back as long as they like that kind of thing anyway because it's a bit like it's a bit alien-esque in the way that it's like like juicy <laughs> do you know what I mean it's juicy it's not matte it's like very very glossy and it's got high like specularity so it's a bit it's a bit juicy it's very very Halloweeny very slimy very you know juicy how else can I say juicy? How many times am I going to say juicy? I don't know. Just go with it. Just go with it. Next on the list, right? I've spoke about this recently. Listen, it's really cool. I saw it years ago on my very first allocation red plant index. I was like, what the hell is this? I think there was only one of them. And basically, I think everyone had to use the same photograph of it on the internet for like God knows how many years. Sorry, I've got a hair on my face. Hang on. Oh my God. Everyone had to use the same photograph because there was kind of none around. And I suspect what has happened is the person or persons that have owned some of this plant 
plant, I would imagine it is a mutant Alocasia Amazonica, but I suspect they've tea seed it and now you can actually get it. You can actually get it. And I think I might, I want to see what it's like. I think I, I saw a comment on a video the other day that someone said, oh, it doesn't really look like that or it doesn't look as good as that. I'm not sure. So these pictures might represent like the best of them and they might not look that good, but I want to keep my eye on it and I want to see what it looks like because again, it's an acquired taste, but it's very, very freaky. It reminds me of like a weird witch's hat kind of vibe. And obviously it's very Halloween-esque. I mean, whatever it is, whatever you think of it, you can't really argue against that. And because it's not that well known until recently, I don't feel like many people may know about it. I feel it's slightly lesser known. Not less common, but lesser known, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I want to keep an eye on that. I, just, I expect it might be the same to care for as the Amazonica, but that's not always the case, guys. That's not always the case. So I don't know how easy it is. By the fact that it's in garden centers, sort of, and it's tea seed, it can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. So let me know if you have it. Let me know if it's easy. Let me know if it's the same as the Amazonica. Let me know if it is kind of an Amazonica because I assumed it was. Right, the next one on the list, it's an Alocasia again. Are you see hearing a patting here? Alocasia have got some good entrant level, you know, otherworldly stuff. But the next one I want to talk about is the flying squid. Now this one, <laughs> I'm not even going to say that anymore because I've said it too much and now it's annoying me. Okay. But this one is weird and I, I, I almost don't know where it fits into a collection. I'm going to be totally honest because I like them, but if I were to buy it, I wouldn't, I feel like I couldn't put it anywhere where it would look good. Do you know what I mean? Unless it was somewhere really minimal, like the background here but even then the background here probably wouldn't carry it because it's it's just weird it's not really like a grass it's almost like a really gothic uh, spidery version of an alocasia tiny dancer it's really really odd i can't speak to the care about it i can't speak to any of that i don't even know how common it is i don't see them often which isn't a great sign in terms of how easy it is because generally, again, if they're everywhere, they're probably easy, right? I used to want one for myself and I, I'm almost going to say no on the basis that I, I don't know how I could fit that into a collection. Maybe if I see it in person, I might feel different, but it's definitely weird. It's definitely otherworldly. I can see where the squidness comes in, but I can also see the the spidery kind of vibe. It depends on the photograph you see, to be honest. Some of them look kind of normal. Some of them look a bit... Mm, you know, not for me, but it's otherworldly, so it's got to go in. Right, I'm going to dial it back to something that's arguably, compared to everything else on this list, quite boring now. It is quite boring, and that is the Anthurium Vici Yano. But listen, you could either look at it and think, ooh, abs, or you can either look at it and think, ooh, alien, and it will go one of two ways. Now, if you want something subtle with an alien-esque vibe, I would argue, guys, this is the one. This is the least alien-y of all of them, but it still is, but it's in a soul way, and it's quite attainable, and still quite fashionable and to be honest it lasts you all year round this is the thing this is why i want to put it in here because you can have it all year round and you won't get looked at funny for having a weird collection right hey if you want to collect the collection i'm not going to stop you okay we need the more the merrier if you if you are on instagram and you have like a really weird vibe to your collection tag me in it tag me in like a photo of it because i really want to see it but for those that are more ooh, i don't know how to put this i don't want to say generic it's not oh what word can i let's play what word can kaylee think of where she doesn't offend too many people in one go. Uh, more non-Halloween <laughs> in your collection. <laughs> more of a, a non-Halloween vibe, should we say. Um, if you're someone that has that, then I think this plant fits in better, is what I'm getting at. So I had to put it in. It's it's not as obvious, but it's also very obvious, if you feel me. Right, the next one, we're moving out because we've done collocation, we've done allocation out. They're in some weird grouping. I should have probably said that. I didn't think they were, but looking at this list, they, they kind of are grouped a little bit. So the next one on my list is the, you're going to be surprised, you're going to be surprised, I'm even going to bring this up, Begonia. Amphioxus. Had to, had to. It's literally, it's Halloween colors. So it's it's like a Hulk green. And I can't remember if it's red or orange. I feel like it's more of an orangey color and it's very, very spotted and it's very prickly and weird and angular and aggressive. And I think it makes for a very, very Halloween-y plant, but very delicate. It's very, very nice. And I'm not sure how easy it is to grow this out of a terrarium. I grew mine in a terrarium and it didn't do brilliantly, I don't think. I'd probably have much better luck now because I actually grow begonia okay based on maybe two or three varieties that I have in my shop. I'm not so bad at it. I think they just need a lot of humidity and not too much fuss. I don't know, begonia lovers tell me if that's right or wrong. But when I did have Amphioxus, it was very, very beautiful. I remember that was on a rare plant index as well. And I wanted that. So I got that and it was lovely. I think I actually had it before begonia rare plant index actually. So I'm lying to you. I don't know where I saw that, that I wanted it. But anyway, I think you'll agree. It's very, very cool. Very Halloween vibes in a more monster mash kind of way. It's a bit more vibrant. It's a bit out there, but it's also very small. I don't think it's the biggest begonia. It can probably get big. And again, if you have a big one, tag me in that because I bet that looks, oh my God, I bet that looks so good. 
so good. Moving on from the Amphioxus, I did actually put this one in, and this is from the Redland Index, and I know it is, I remember this. This is Begonia, is it Ferox, Ferro, Ferox? I'm gonna say Ferox. It doesn't sound right though, does it? You're probably screaming right now at your screens, going, that is not how you say it. Will you stop doing this? Who is this English lady that can't say plant names? Hi, it's me, how are you? So I like this one because it's very Camden Market, right? And I can say that because I've actually been to Camden Market as of like a week ago, and it it's very Camden Market. It just is, right? So it's, I think it's still a green begonia. Again, no pictures on me at the moment. It is a green begonia. It's got like steel black kind of just spikes all over the leaves. So it's very, very cool. There was a, it reminds me of a leather jacket that I tried to buy the other week, but they didn't have it in my size. And it was lovely. It was a lovely biker jacket. It was cropped. It was neat. It was tiny. It wasn't small enough, but it had spikes all over the lapels in exactly the same way. It's very, very sexy. It's basically a begonia with black hardware, black spiky hardware. So not quite, not quite alien-esque in the way that we think of it, but it's definitely otherworldly because I would say that sticks out to me as a, even a begonia, to be honest of all of them. So I wanted to put that on this list. Zero experience with that, by the way. Literally zero. Never even ordered it in. Don't think I've even tried. Literally. Let me know if it's difficult. I, I feel like it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's really easy. I don't know. Let me know. Oh, this next one. You might remember this from Red Planet X. It is Begonia. Spoiler alert. Uh, I did want this. I did want this because I saw a picture of it and I fell in love with the photograph of it. Was it a picture that a shop had at the time or was it? I can't remember, but I, I just loved it. And don't get me wrong, guys. I know there is a million and one Begonias I could have put in here, right? But I just liked this one, okay? Because I still, I'm not just doing goth plants. I'm trying to keep up with the, like the otherworldly kind of vibe, right? So the next one on my list is the Begonia Bre break dance. I know, I know. I don't even think it's that expensive, but it's just really weird. And I am actually going to get a photograph of this. So it's not the darkest thing you've ever seen. So the thing, the thing that makes me think, ooh, okay, it's more how it grows. And I think that's why they call it break dance. So a lot of begonia, in my opinion, they grow, it's kind of like a tree, like an angel wing tree, like an angel wing within an angel wing. I, I like it. And I really do love the structure of a more mature begonia. I think they're beautiful. This doesn't seem to do that, or at least on the size of the pictures that I see. It, I get why you call it breakdance. There's a website here calling it lion dance, which I don't know is the same thing. Is it the same thing? Let me have a quick look. Oh, it might be, you know. Oh, I'm saying breakdance. I probably labeled it differently on the screen when I've talked because I think it is lion dance, not breakdance. I think they could be the same. Hang on, are they the same? Now I'm questioning everything. It Maybe it goes by both. Can we, let's, guys, let's just call a compromise here. Let's just say it goes by both. But it's just weird. It's really weird the way it grows. And if you sit it on a taller pot that I'm looking at a picture of it here, don't know if you could see, if you sit it on a taller pot, it just does the weirdest shit and it just looks really, otherworldly. It looks alien-like. So out of all the begonia, I didn't want to go for more of the pretty angel wingy ones because we're not going for a pretty Halloween goth vibe. We're going for a bit weird, you feel me? Which is why the Amphioxus and stuff like that is in there as well. But this has always been really weird to me. And guys, I have remembered this from the Begonia Red Plant Index. And I got so much uh, mixed opinion, shall we say, of everyone that watched that because a lot of people were like, oh wow, this is just Kaylee hating on Begonia for like half an hour or whatever it was. But honestly, I remembered that one and I really, really like it. And I would kill to see that in person. Every time I see a picture, it's just flump. That's the best way I can describe it. It just looks great. It's really, it's intriguing to look at in a photograph. There's another one. And I know this is ridiculous. I can put images next to me and yeah, I'm trying to show you on a phone. I know, I know. But it looks really good. Good. Totally recommend. Super affordable. I'm getting like £10 for this. Oh, here is a fer ferro, ferox. That's £20. So all of this is quite affordable as well. So some of the begonia on here are pretty good. Again, in the world of begonia, there's probably loads and there's probably loads I've missed for this video, but I didn't want to make this video about begonia. You feel me? Very, very sorry, begonia lovers, but I didn't want to. So I'm going to move on to begonia. And well, I want to move on to an epipremnum. Can't speak today. An epipremnum that not everyone knows about. I... I do have some somewhere. I have some somewhere in the unit. I got it gifted. I don't know where it's gone and it kills me. I don't know where it's gone. I hope it's not dead. So I really treasured that when I got given that. Um, I think a subscriber sent me some and they sent two little, two little bit in moss. Where are those pots? I need to go and find those. But anyway, I was gifted some Epipremnum skeleton 
funky. Now then, stay with me. These look great. And you can't tell me these aren't otherworldly. I, I get the point. It looks like a key, but it's definitely otherworldly. Like you can't say it isn't. It just looks weird. It's definitely not the weirdest in this list. And if you remember a video, maybe a couple of weeks back, I mentioned the Alocasia Stingray, which is not the same. And you could really put it in this video. And I nearly did it number 10, but I didn't. I put this in instead of that because I haven't talked about this enough. And I don't think it's expensive. No, depends on the size. It's really, really cool though. Now it starts out like a normal Epipremnum Panatum or whatever, whatever you want to call it. In fact, it is a Panatum, I think. And then it changes into this really weird key, but it's more like they call it a skeleton key. Not not necessarily in this sense, I think, because it unlocks all doors because it actually almost looks like a pelvis, but a key. It's it's wild. So in that sense, it's a little bit otherworldly. And I really, really like this. I don't see it often in collections either, but I don't know why. Maybe, I, again, you know what? I, I kind of do know why. It's falling into the pattern that all these other ones are falling into, i.e. not sexy. I feel like most of us want sexy and not enough of us, not enough of us guys are eclectic. So I think that's probably why. But I want to put it on there just in case you're like, hey, these are good and all, but is there anything I can kind of like fit into my daily, daily thing, daily collection? anything at all, this might be one that you could. Now for number 10, listen, I nearly always give you a top 10. I honestly, I nearly always give you a top 10. I actually didn't do that this week. I thought I had a top 10. It turns out I don't. But what I want to do for my top 10, because I think it's more useful actually than me just saying a plant that I think is otherworldly, is for you guys, and you only need to write one, to write an otherworldly plant that you think is just the best. Mainly in the alien, weird kind of Vibes. I don't necessarily mean like a goth plant. I do mean more or the world, right? Like tentacles, aliens, something like that. Something a bit different, a bit more, you know. If you have any of those, please feel free to leave a comment because I just, I, I feel like I'm going to kick myself. I feel like there's something I've missed. I don't want to say it's a begonia because we have enough of those in. It could be an alocasia I've missed. I know there are, oh, I will say this before we go. I know there are other plants as well. There's, there's some really weird succulents and stuff that are otherworldly. I didn't really touch on those because I, I know the least about those. So I didn't want to talk about those. I thought I'd leave that to, I mean, let's be honest, a YouTuber that probably deals with that. It's not something I could really speak on. I don't think I could give you any good opinions on succulents and stuff. Things like that I haven't really touched on, but I know they exist, okay? But all the same, if you want to leave that in the comments below, I will absolutely take a read. I did have an honourable mention when I was planning this video, but I actually removed them because I didn't feel that they matched enough to the vibe I was going for. So one of them was the Taka, also known as the Bat Flower. I, I don't know. I didn't feel like it matched the vibe of what we were going for in today's video. And this one definitely didn't match the vibe, but I sort of remembered it existed. So I was going to put it in, but then I didn't because it didn't make sense. But I don't know the actual name for the plant, but I've written down Resurrection Plant because they are, they are really, really weird. I've never had one, but they are really, really weird. And I think there could be something very fun for Halloween if you wanted to get one, I guess. Um, I think it literally like... It it's, it's from what I've seen on YouTube, it's like all curled together and then you put water on it, you sit it in the bowl of water and it like comes back to life. Really cool. I don't know the history of it or anything. So if someone wants to give me like a, a very quick history of what it is and how it works, I would love to know. I don't even know where you can get those from, but that anyway is my list. Please let me know if there's something that I have not mentioned and I can kick myself because I'm here in front of all my lights. I'm mentioning things and I probably forgot something that's better than anything on my list. Let's just be honest. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys please leave anything that you like down below whether it's plants i've missed out on uh, the history of that resurrection plant would be very useful to me as well and any other types of plant videos that you'd like to see of course until then i will love you and leave you happy halloween i know it's early i know I knew we're a few days early, but happy Halloween. I hope you have a great one. If you celebrate it, that is. I know I do. I love it. It's literally, there is no other time of the year than me. It's not Christmas for me. It's Halloween. So thank you very much for watching this week's video. If you'd like to leave anything down below, please do so. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely adore it if you could, because only 50%, yes, 50% of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. That's, that's quite a lot. Imagine, imagine if you just click subscribe. Imagine what would happen collectively. That's it for this week's video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!